if you have a known pathology, such as fracture, an open wound, or over a tumor or cancer, should not use electrical stimulation. All the standard contraindications medically for use of electrical stimulation apply to bioelectrical biofeedback stimulation. And we don't want to do that. We would never want to exacerbate or cause more of a problem. The intention here is to heal, relax, and restore normal function and physiology. Janice has now been applying that as we're talking. She's got this spot going right here, up a little bit further in front now. You hit it, you had hit a spot. Let me see if I can find it. Because I've seen you catch it one or two times. I'm doing a real slow, there it is, a real slow drag. That's why we use this because we can be more specific in an area with two electrodes with a flexible bending electrode than we can with the flat onboard computer. Do you feel that there? Mm -hmm. Okay. Is it too intense? I wouldn't say too intense. I'm going to turn it down a little bit. That's an area that's inflamed. Mm -hmm. It's a trigger point in those local tissues. And so it's already modulating. You feel how it's relaxing out of there? Mm -hmm. It didn't take very long. It was a very small area because it would be there and then it would be gone. It would be there and then it would be gone. And so we found it and it fixed very rapidly. I want you to turn your head and neck and see how it feels. Nice. Okay. Your right rotation is a lot better than it was before we mm -hmm. began. Okay. If you can move to the front and we'll look at... at the range of motion that Janice is experiencing. I'm going to do a straight right rotation. Good. Now left. We see there's probably five to ten degrees less rotation to the left, and you feel tension and, and some pain when you do that, correct? Yes. Okay. So, we're going to have you put that on your left finger. And I'm going to let you set this. One hand, you can set the plus to where you start to feel it. And we're going to bring these other two back up because the inflammation should be going down there. Is that, are these two comfortable yet? Oh, that's a little strong. It is? Okay. Mm -hmm. That feels good. Now what we're doing is we're getting a little bit of... Nice. We're getting a little bit of uh, muscle stimulation there. So I'm going to move from that motor point up to the shoulder joint itself, and now that's comfortable, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So I took it off of that inflamed nerve point and moved it up locally to the shoulder. And how's this feeling over here? I can feel it's working well. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah, you have, see the spot you have? She's found a spot that she's working considerably on the left side, and it's much more, see a full activation there. Can you turn it up a little? Is that too much? No, that's good. There you go. Okay. So we've got enough stimulation now to overcome the resistivity to that local area where she was having the inflammation. And now it's starting to work. So we'll get out about another 30 seconds or so. You okay? Mm -hmm. Comfortable. Whenever you're utilizing a med sport, a med best, or a best pro, if you happen to be prescribed one of these, you always want to use the finger electrodes or the onboard electrodes on the neck and face to your own tolerance and barely feel a light tingling sensation. Overstimulation in these areas is can be rapidly uncomfortable and is of no additional benefit. Because most people think more is better, we're pretty adamant and, and strongly suggest that you do not run this up to a very strong level. 
but do it gently, safely, and it will be much more effective if you do not overstimulate. And so, when you're applying the, any technique, even myself as a professional, I always tell my clients where to place the pad, how to use it, and I allow them to control the positive and negative, the up and down of the device so that they feel comfortable in control and they're the first one to know, wow, that's a little too much. I want to take it off of there. Okay? I'm going to complete this now. I'm sure we're probably at around the five to seven minute. I'm sure closer to seven, maybe ten minutes of therapy. And hopefully, you're feeling better. Let's do a little range of motion. Nice. Right? Good. How's that feel? Much closer. Okay. Extend both arms. Move your arms a little bit. See how they feel. How's the shoulder feel? Push down with this one. How's that? Feels good. Push down with this one. Good. Not okay. Well, the motor strength of those muscles that do that, hold your elbow to your side, about here, and I want you to push up. Wow, that's good. This one. Oop. There we go. Stronger than I am. If the deltoids, if the shoulder girdle muscles were still irritating, then she would have felt pain under force, under stress, okay? So I put her under a little bit of stress. The nicest thing to do at this point is to finish up by using a little bit of the pain relieving cream to smooth out and promote the, the healing and reduce the inflammation. So I'm going to go a little dab will do you here. I'm going to put a little dab on my finger. I'm going to help Janice out, so I'm going to go right here. Put a little stroke there. Let her rub that in. A little stroke here. All I'm doing this shoulder. And you'll see, as we're putting this on, one, we use a very small amount. Okay, this is highly concentrated and is meant to go into the skin. You see, within 30 seconds to 45 seconds, this goes right into the skin. There is no smell. I know you can't smell through the camera, but there is, it is odorless. It is, shall we say, relatively greaseless. It does not stay greasy. It goes into the skin and absorbs. This is a special formulation. We worked years to get this formula down proper, properly. Go, put a little of the excess here. We'll take just a little bit of a dab here to do that. Okay, just a small amount like this. I'm going to go do this for you. Okay, and rub this right in, right into that muscle. And how does that feel? How does this feel on the skin, actually, now that it's rubbed in? I feel very relaxed and um, less hot in the tissue. Really? Mm -hmm. Took the inflammation out? Yes. Let's do a range of motion before we end. Do a um, flexion first. Tuck your chin to your chest. Good. How does that feel? Good. How's the tension up the back? Is it equal on both sides now? Yes, it is. Good. Extend your head back. Nice. How's that feel? Good. Right rotation. Good. Left. And there we go. Treatment's complete. Probably about 10 to 12 minutes. The vast majority of this can be done by yourself at home using the knowledge, the technology, and the products that are available to you to Bioenergy Med. Thank you very much.